with all due respect to my fellow uh, brothers and sisters among the Contras, I think that's a really bad argument. It's, it's very ill-advised and uninformed. Sola Scriptura is not meant to rule out general revelation as a, a valid source of morality or as a, a valid way of thinking about the world, etc. cetera. It, it's meant primarily to rule out anything but scripture as special revelation, right? So the Sola Scriptura evolved or it came about in the context of the contest between the Roman Catholic Church and the idea that Scripture is the only special revelation, right? The Roman Catholic Church claimed that the Pope also had special revelation, or that the Church collectively represented uh, equal special revelation on par with Scripture or sometimes above Scripture. And Sola Scriptura is meant to say, no, there is no special revelation from God. There is no verbal revelation from God outside of scripture, which is to serve as the Christian's final authority. That doesn't mean that there aren't good, true, valuable, important, and even quote unquote authoritative things to be discovered outside of scripture. Because scripture is not, and you've heard this a thousand times, I'm sure, scripture is not a textbook on economics or even on political theory, or even on moral theory, or a theory of justice. Scripture will not give you explicitly a theory of justice. It definitely does so implicitly, and you, you've got you've to work hard to get at that, but, and this is the language of the confession, only by good and necessary consequence. But where do you get the ideas of good and necessary consequence? How do you know what is a good and necessary consequence, and what is a bad and not necessary consequence. How you distinguish between the two? You have to get that from general revelation. There's much that you have to get from general revelation in order to interact with scripture and apply it to the rest of life. And so to just say that the social justice warriors are denying sola scriptura is insufficient. They, they can turn around and say the same thing about you for uh, citing Adam Smith or for saying we should be capitalists. Well, where did you get that term capitalism? You get you didn't get it from scripture. Where'd you get the concept of free markets? That, that language isn't in scripture. You have to be able to argue it from good and necessary consequence, not only from the text, but also just from the nature of what God has created. God has communicated much truth about himself through the things he has made. And he intends for us to look at the things that he has made to learn moral truths about it, right? Romans 132 says they knew they should not do such things, which means that you can get from the things made, you can get from the is, oughts. You can get from what God has made in general revelation, ideas about what you ought to do and what you ought not to do. And that includes based on the nature of man, whom he has created, based on the nature of wealth, which God has created, you can get certain odds about the nature of justice and what we ought to do economically with the things that we produce. First of all, where do you get off making this sort of distinction between moral truths and scientific truths? What makes you think that only scripture can give you moral truths? Like I just said, Romans 1 teaches that general revelation does give you moral truths. In fact, Paul's whole argument in Romans 1 is dependent on the idea that we are without excuse 
because of the moral truths which are communicated to us in general revelation. If general revelation could not give you moral truths, then the man on the island who's never heard the gospel or read the scriptures would have an excuse before God on judgment day for not believing the gospel and for not worshiping God. He would have an excuse for his sin if general revelation could not give you moral truths. So it, it it's just, even on even if we're just looking at what scripture teaches, it's absolutely antithetical to what scripture teaches. But then even apart from that, what reason do we have to believe that? What reason do we have to believe that you can only get moral truths from scripture? Is there any argument for that? Or is it just assumed? And this is this is where it gets really frustrating. Are are we sort of conservatives, anti-social justice warrior, contras, etc.? Are we making a lot of the same mistakes that the other side is by just operating off of assumptions that we just find ourselves believing or that we just want to believe because it's convenient? Because that's what they're doing, and that's what we criticize them for doing all the time. That's all they do. All they do is make assumptions that sound virtuous, that sound Christian. They might cite a couple of random proof texts that don't mean anything, but they've got no arguments. All they do is virtue signal. But that's essentially what we're doing if what we're going to say is, oh, that, that, that's, that's going against the sufficiency of Scripture. Why? Well, because you can only get moral truths from Scripture. Why? Uh, I don't know, because it sounds virtuous. That, that, that's the extent of it. And so uh, we should be careful lest we make the same mistakes that the other side is making. The, the reason that the social justice side or the, the CRT, critical race theory, et cetera, is contrary to scripture is not just because they're using ideas which aren't found in scripture. The reason it's contrary to scripture is because it contradicts what scripture teaches, right? That scripture has an objective message that it teaches, much of which I've already elaborated on here regarding the nature of God's justice and the gospel and the nature of the gospel itself, etc. Right, that there are a lot of things that are essential to the message, the objective message, which scripture speaks authoritatively to us. And much of that is contradicted, directly contradicted by the social justice warriors and the advocates of critical race theory. So the, the reason that they're wrong, the reason that we say they're wrong is because they contradict scripture's clear teaching, not because they happen to be drawing on ideas that happen to originate outside of scripture.